In this lesson, we'll look at creating stairs by sketching boundary and riser lines. So to get started, let's create a new project based on the architectural template. Again, we're using the architectural template because it already has two floor plans created, one for level one and one for level two. The distance between those levels is 10 feet. Now, to create stairs by sketching the boundaries and riser lines, you actually draw the boundary lines and then you create the riser lines within the boundaries. This is very beneficial if you're creating stairs that are non-linear, let's say stairs that would be in an exterior environment for landscaping or some custom design internally in a home or a building. So for this example, I'm gonna change the actual height from level one to level two, that distance of 10 feet. So let's go to your east elevation. Go ahead and double click east. And you'll notice level two is at 10 feet. Let's change that to four feet. So simply click twice on 10, key in four feet and hit the enter key. That will change the level now distance from level one to level two to four feet. I'm doing this so we don't have to create a lot of risers. Now let's go back to our level one floor plan. And now let's start drawing the stair. Go to the architecture tab, stair drop down, stair by sketch. Now, as you saw in the previous exercises, we chose run as the initial condition for creating our staircase. In this example, we're going to create the boundaries first. So I'm gonna select boundary. Now, when you do, you have a variety of different tools available to draw your boundary lines. We'll first create a basic straight run stair by drawing some boundary lines. So on your screen, go ahead and zoom in a little bit and just click any given point and drag your mouse. Now we're just gonna make this horizontal. So drag your mouse out so the line is about a total length of 10 feet, give or take. And after you draw that line segment, hit the escape key. Now go ahead and draw another line segment directly below that, make the distance between those two four feet or near four feet. Again, drag that line across until it comes out to about the same distance. Click the point again, hit the escape key to end the actual boundary line. Now you've created the two boundaries. The next step is to create the riser lines in between, which will tell you how many you create. So on the ribbon, choose riser, make sure line is still selected, and we're gonna draw the first riser line all the way on the left. So click one of the endpoints on the left, and then go across and click the other endpoint. Now let's click the endpoint on the right. Click the endpoint on the top and the endpoint on the bottom. Now we have five remaining risers to create. Now there's a couple different methods on how you could do this. This is about 10 feet. So if I made my stairs or my steps about two foot apart, I could evenly space these or offset them. For example, I could set my offset value here to be two feet. Just key in two, hit the enter key and it's two feet. Then in the draw area, I could choose pick lines. And then if I hover over my first line that I drew on the left and pick it, you'll notice it offsets a line to the right. Hover over that line, move to the right of it, you have another offset line, and another offset line, and another offset line. Now my calculations are a little off because it actually says I have one remaining, so I can go out beyond the actual end, click again, and I've actually created the total number of risers. I'll go ahead and hit escape twice to exit out of the riser command. And what you really need to do next, we should actually tidy this up by dragging the actual boundary line or extending it out to the end of that last riser. After you've done that, simply click the green check mark. And what will happen is the staircase will be created along with the railing. Railings are attached by default since the default was set up. To see this in 3D, go to your default 3D view you've created a basic straight run stair by sketch by creating the boundary first and the riser second. Now let's make this a little more interesting. Let's do another example, but we'll put in some curves. So let's go back to our level one floor plan. Go ahead and pan this staircase over to the left. Go to the stair drop down, choose stair by sketch, click boundary again. And this time I want you to choose start end radius arc. And the distance and the curvature doesn't really matter. Just click a point to start, drag out about, oh, let's say about seven feet. Click a point and then make a nice little bend in this. And then drag your mouse out again beyond that, maybe up a little bit, say about, I don't know, nine feet or so. 
Make a nice little bend in that. Hit the escape key. Now let's start another curve below this. Click a point, drag up. Eh, again, doesn't matter exactly where. And then make another curve. Come and then drag your mouse out to the right again. Click. And then make another curve off of that. Now, I don't really have tangency turned on or making this tangent. It doesn't really matter in this example for what I'm illustrating. Now, after you have the two continuous boundary lines, hit the escape key twice. Next step is to create your riser lines. Now, we're going to do it a little differently. We're not going to use the offset. So go ahead and click riser, click line, and just like we did before, click the first two points on the left, endpoint to endpoint, and then do the same to the two endpoints on the right. Now we can come back in and create the risers in between. Maybe I'll just move in here a little bit. Click a point on one boundary line, drag across, click a point nearest on the other side of the boundary line. Come a little farther, click on one side, click on the other side, come in here again, click and click. Two remaining, say we'll put one here, and then one remaining, I'm going to put one here. It's important that your riser lines do touch the boundary lines or the ending boundary lines meet up with the riser lines. You can use extend and trim if you want to in those. Now, the railing will be created, but just to show you, if you wanted to turn the railing off, go to the railing icon all the way to the right of your ribbon, click railing, and click the default drop down and choose none all the way at the bottom and click OK. Now, to create our stairs, providing all of our lines attached, click the green check mark. The stair will actually create. It goes pretty quick because there's no railings that it has to generate for all of the actual rails and balusters. To see this in 3D, go to your 3D view, zoom out, and you'll actually notice our staircase created based on the boundaries we drew and the riser lines we created. Now again, you can attach the railing to that by turning on railings, or we can attach the railings after the fact. You can also change your stair type by modifying the stair. Up next, we'll look at creating spiral staircases by sketching.